हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आरबी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी केमिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ बी एस सी एन एच स्कॉट जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल सो कैन यू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो टुडे वी हैव फाइव मंथ्स ओल्ड मिक्सड ब्रीड दिस पपी इज प्रजेंटेड विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ स्लिप फ्रॉम द स्टेयर एंड नॉट एबल टू स्टैंड फ्रॉम द लास्ट टेन टू ट्वेल्व डेज एंड इन एबिलिटी टू गेट अप एंड देर इज ए पेन वेन एवर वी टच द बोन ऑफ एनी रीजन सो इफ यू सी एट द फोर लिंग यू विल फाइंड दैट देर इज ए इनलार्जमेंट ऑफ द डिजिटल मेटाफाइसिस ऑफ द बोथ रेडियस एंड अलना सो दिस इज नॉट अ इन लार्ज ज्वाइंट दिस इज द enlargement of the distal metaphysis of the radius as well as the ulna the enlarged metaphysis we could also see in the proximal extremity of the tibia as well as the distal extremity of the tibia when we took the radiograph so we'll find that uh, there is a pathological fracture in the both femoral uh, bone and the cortex of the femur bone and as well as the tibia is very thin so that means overall there is a generalized osteopenia in this dog and this is the reason why the animal is not able to get up the one thing is that is because of the weak bone second one is the pathological fracture certainly we can't say that this animal is suffering from the rickets or nutritional secondary hyperparathyroidism or other nutritional bone disease but when we took the radiograph of the forelimb so we found sign of the rickets and uh, those signs are bending of the radius and ulna bone particularly at the distal metaphysis and then cupping or enlargement of the distal metaphysis these sign when you find so definitely this is the signs of of the rickets but uh, uh, these signs are now it is in the healing stage because the owner told that uh, already this animal is on the vitamin d3 injection and the calcium supplement so as far as treatment is concerned so this animal is already on the vitamin d3 injection so we continue the same injection uh, the rectal 3 lakh uh, uh, unit uh, intramuscular weekly so we'll give another 2 to 3 weeks and then yeah, calcium yeah. supplement that is osteo pet or any other calcium supplement and then the painkiller we give the analgesic like uh, carprofen or uh, melonex ya yeah, meloxicam and then we also provide the multivitamins and minerals so this is the only treatment and uh, in such cases we should not try to treat the pathological fracture because uh, whatever the technique you will apply for the treatment of the fracture that will further cause damage to the very thin cortex so this is the management aspect and also we advise for the deworming at the regular interval and to keep this dog on the kacha flow instead of pakka flow and provide the good nutrition like milk and the chicken soup so by doing this once the strength of bone increase so definitely this animal will able to stand and walk properly so this is all about this particular case this is the nutritional bone disease and particularly the this rickets So thank you very much for watching uh, this video and if you are new to the channel so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for further notification thank you very much